Happy Friday, everybody. How Hi, are friends. you? We are excited. We've got two things today that are really, really fabulous. You may not know the other one. Um, I guess I don't. We are introducing <laughs> our very last um, project maker class today oh, yeah. for um, April. And it's so going exciting. to be really beautiful. And if you have not been a part of this whole maker class series, you are missing out, but you want to be a part of this last one. We're going to be talking about, um, in this, it's a virtual workshop. We're making spring clay pots that look amazing, oh, like so French. Cute. Do you want to grab one, just I a know. picture to show oh them? Goodness. Not yeah. the pot, but just the picture. I think they're over there. We'll show you. Michelle's going to get it and we're going to show you what it looks like. But this maker class, we're going to be talking about fear. We're going to talk about how fear keeps us from growth, from really becoming all that we were created to be. And so you're going to want to be a part of it. And it's really great in our breakout sessions. Hey, Chantel from Colorado. Um, but look at this. Is this the cutest? Theo's saying hello. So this is the project that we're going to be doing in that new okay. workshop that we, we just launched it today. And guess what? We are also launching a brand new stencil. Look at this. Is this, is this the cutest? This is our brand new farm to table stencil. Look at this. Actually, I'm going to take it out of the packaging because I want to have the glare taken off. Look at this. So We've got so many projects fun. that we're going to show you how to so do cute. today. And, you know, even if you don't live on a farm, even it if you... It that everybody likes farmhouse chic, regardless of whether they live on a absolutely. farm Absolutely. Everybody loves farm tent, farmhouse chic. It's so cute. Look at this. It's very in. Look at the detail on the fork. Is that the cutest? It's so pretty. Hey, Stacy, we're so glad you love this too. Look at this. Faith, family, and freedom. That's a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. What a great t-shirt. There's so many different projects that you can create with this. This is a large stencil too. Love the cow. Home is where my herd is. And of course we had to create a, a barn. Everybody loves a barn. The tractor is a great, Michelle and I were talking about this, to be able to have a camo t-shirt. You can get camo t-shirts at Walmart. Yes. And put that little tractor on in red on a on a green camo t-shirt mm -hmm. would be absolutely fabulous. So cute. Hey Debbie from Kansas. I mean, is this perfect? Is this the perfect stencil? Look at this. And then so it finishes out, look at that border. So we're gonna show you today with several different projects and how we've done this that you're gonna love. And it, as we said the other day, these stencils are the apex of all of our projects. So, um, hey Lynn, hey guys, so here's the deal. You know, when we do these Facebook Lives, it's an opportunity for one, for you to be able to just kind of us to all connect virtually, mm -hmm. but then we are gonna be giving away the stencil. If you share. And all you have to do is share. So that way, when, you, when you're finished watching, especially if you're watching it later, do hashtag replay. But this is Friday at noon, about 1230. So, and that's Central Standard Time. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you're going to be watching this. And even through replay. And then that way, if you share the video, your name will go on for a drawing on Monday. We're going to be making the announcement for of who stencil. won this. Do you have a store in Canada? Guess what? We're we shipped to Canada. Canada. We went international last week, so we ship all over the world every single day. It's so fun for us now. We've had so many precious neighbors in Canada that have wanted to buy our products. Absolutely. They've so been watching us for a long time. <laughs> we are talking to retailers every day as well as um, end users. So we are just thrilled that that way you have the opportunity now to be able to purchase from us. So um, no tag. We will have a tag. I ta Do you have your phone? Text Marty. We will put up a tag to this um, in just a minute. Um, oh, you can tag people. Yes. Absolutely. We say share and tag some friends. Um, tag three friends and share the video and your name will go on for a drawing. Thank you. Thank you for the, um, thank you for the reminder. Hey, Valerie, how's it going, guys? And I love knowing where you're coming from just to be able to say, hey. And it just allows me, when I see your names, I'm so visual. Um, when I see your names, it's like, oh my gosh, that's my friend. That's my virtual friend. That's my creative friend. Um, so, all right. So we are going to show you just some really fun, quick projects um, really quickly. And 
that we want to be able so to see, fun. show you the versatility of this. Oh yeah. Is really quite amazing. All right, so um, continue to say hey, share this video, and uh, tag three friends. But we want to show you, look at this. Michelle went shopping this morning. I did. At her favorite store. You want to tell them what your favorite store is? Ikea. Ikea is her favorite <laughs> store. I love Ikea, but Jim Howard does not like Ikea. So I, he doesn't like Costco and he doesn't like going to Ikea. So I have to drag him. I have to make all kinds of promises. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Linda from New Zealand. This is what's so fun to me. I know. We've been shipping to New Zealand. I mean, it's like... Like we that. have friends around the world yes, because of a maker so studio. Fun. It's, it's so fun. And add Jesus to the mix too. So um, you do that. It the gives you all the warm fuzzies. Cindy, you shouldn't ask me that because then I get in trouble with everybody here. So yes, I have very exciting news, but I cannot share it. Mom's the word. Yes. Mm -mm. So good. Mm -mm. So good. But yes, yes, it's all good. Look at this. So Michelle went to IKEA this morning. And got these adorable navy placemats. Absolutely. So how much were the placemats? I think they were $2 a piece. So $2. Can you see kind of they're a textured crafting is international. Absolutely it is, Amen. Valerie. I love that. I love that. So look at this. We it's also have, a universal language. It is a universal language. It totally is. So this is a great looking $2. $2. $2 at Ikea yeah. placemat. That is that the cutest? And we are going to make these adorable towel. Now, I love this. Look at this. You. This is an adorable towel that can also be a napkin that can go with your placemat. I'm going to turn this around because I want you to be able to see it. And then that way we're going to be showing you. Um, the last thing I want is for one of my favorite ladies to be in trouble. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh, what a sweet word. Here, my mind, it's like I forgot already. You're like what? So, so cute. She's so trying to keep you keep, out of trouble. Right? Thank you. I And I get in trouble. You think I'm kidding? I get on here and I blab because I get excited because I want y'all to be excited. And then I go in the office and Jean Howard is going, what did you just go online and say? People are already calling. So I can't, don't get me in trouble. All right, so I'm going to turn this down. And I want you to be able to see, to be able to learn how to do this. But I thought, is this the cutest? So this is also um, an Ikea towel, but how cute is it to be able to come back and have this as a napkin if you've, if you've got little people mm -hmm. trying to teach them some table manners. What? Table manners? Yes, and put that, that? put that napkin in their lap, tie it around their neck. <laughs> it's big enough. You could tie it around their it neck. It is big enough. You could do that. Let's... I want to turn this around so that way you can see it. But is this the cutest? I love it. Such a cute, cute placemat. And so simple. And simple. And look at this. So all of these different projects, are y'all ready for this? Look at this. All of these projects, we could be doing tons of these, but Absolutely. we want you to see the versatility. Look at this adorable card that I made. Now, everybody loves a farm, but especially if you know someone um, that you want to be able to write a little note to, or maybe you're giving a gift to, that it goes along with the farm to table theme. But I thought just mixing the green and the brown and the red ink on this card makes it an adorable card to give mm -hmm. to somebody. So here we've done um, a cutting board that's so easy. These also come from Ikea. Mm -hmm. These are how much? $4.99. $4.99. So that way, you know, even guys, if you like making, we say you can make these things for yourself. You can make them as gifts. But then also you can turn around and sell, sell these. Them. There's no reason why your crafting and your desire to create can't be a business that you Absolutely. can that you can sell things. Absolutely. So we're going to show you how to create some of these. We just wanted to be able to show you the versatility. And again, if you're just now popping on and seeing us, this is our brand new stencil that is so fab. It's oversized. It's really big, and it's got a ton of versatility to it. Look, is that border the like the cutest thing you've ever seen? And Michelle was actually getting ready to do a towel and do that border, and I was like, that is really cute. But we used it on this um, cutting board for you to be able to see, and I think it's just a great border at the bottom. Great. Border. So this is brand All new. We're just introducing this today, and I will tell you, we sell out of these. We sold out of our birds and branches in, did you know that? No. Yes. So fast. We sold out of our bird, birds and branches in two weeks. 
Oh my goodness. So it's crazy. So you want, if you love this, if it's something that you could see that you could do a lot of projects with, you want to get it You today. want to snag it. So. Don't miss out. All right. So let's show them how to create this placemat. Absolutely. Simple placemat. And I already have the stencil cut from an earlier time, but you guys know that you can take scissors and cut right along the cut lines of our stencil. They are adhesives. So you will peel them from the backing. You're not gonna leave them on that white backing. And because they're adhesive, we can position and reposition as needed. So you can use them multiple times. If you're just now tuning in, these are washable. They're adhesive, they're a mesh, and it allows you to be able to create something that is a lot like um, silk screening. Mm -hmm. So if you've Absolutely. ever seen a silk screener or somebody that makes silk screen t-shirts or whatever, these there's so many great designs on this that would make a great t-shirt. T-shirt. Oh my goodness, I, yes. I am wanting the Faith Freedom in Family um, as a t-shirt. I think that would be great, but I would be honest with you, I would also love... I'd also love the, the cow. I want the cow. Home is where the herd is. Mm -hmm. All right. That's my herd. So now Michelle did, as she was sharing with you, she got these at Ikea, and they're only $2 as far as the placemats, which would be an adorable, adorable place setting. Oh, yeah. Um, but it's ribbed. It is ribbed. So you want to make sure that you're really getting, getting that, that down. stenciled down. Yeah. Down um, in the grooves. You want good adhesive, adhesion, adherence, <laughs> all the words. I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see. And I'm actually going to squeeze out. I just used white. I didn't do anything special, just the blue, white. The blue and white is it's just beautiful. so, it's so in right now. Well, and blue and white, it screams summer to me. I love Oh, some blue white and navy pants. I mean, yes. some white pants and a navy top. Yes. You're, I'm are ticking, white ticking, love it. Hey I guys. actually just bought a brand new white t-shirt or sweat sweater for this weekend for the baby shower. White and navy is classic. Mm -hmm. It never goes out of style. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about it is, I believe if you wanted to be able to make four of these placemats at one setting, you wouldn't need to wash your stencil. Just you keep, probably wouldn't. keep going. So it's not necessary to have to wash it after every use, especially when you're making a whole lot of these. Um, what a great, what a great gift to give someone if or, or even selling them. You could roll these up, put a nice red satin bow on them. So and cute. don't forget when you're making bows, you can even s customize them. Oh my gosh, you can put the yes. ink on your bow, but do a big red satin bow on this, roll them up, put them in a cute little basket have the napkins and then do the um, cutting board. Oh my gosh, what a great wedding gift. This whole idea of going and spending a ton of money on some gifts is ridiculous when you can make something that's much more special that they will love. We're, we're ready. Ta-da! Look at that! So is that the cutest? Amazing. Do you just love that? So here we've got these adorable customized placemats that cost us $2 at Ikea, but we're going to be able to use this towel now that is going to be a fantastic napkin, tea towel, whatever, mm -hmm. to be able to go with this. So I'm going to scoot this up just a little to be able to give Michelle, and guess what? Somebody was talking about this the other day. We need more boy things. This farm to table is a great stencil if you want to create some little boy things too. Yes. But I love, of course, I did the um, I did the Red Barn, which is adorable, with a stencil with my inks. But how fun would this be to have this tractor get a green, ca um, a green uh, camouflage at Walmart, That's, but do this in red. Oh, Please yeah. do this in red on green cam. It would be so, so cute. So I'm going to get my, my green over here. And Michelle is working on her towel. Hello, cow. Now, I'm going to show you guys. I did mix, um, I mixed a little black into our blue gel art simply because our navy is much brighter than this um, edge line. Oh, that's a good word. And so I wanted to just darken it up a tiny bit so that it matched a little bit better. 
Love and that. I eyeballed it. You know us. We just kind of figured don't, it out. Don't get stressed over this kind of stuff. But I just, and, and it's not mandatory to do that. I just wanted to darken it up a bit. So I want to show you what I did and how I did it. Um, and I'm over here working on this card, which I'm using a brush with the ink when you're making your stationery. And I'm going to be putting the brown on the tires. Um, it's a dark chocolate brown and doing it in the green as um, Ode to uh, John Deere, which is the best tractor. So you can use the inks as well as on paper and fabric. Absolutely. So Michelle, tell them after you've made this, what are they gonna need to do to take care of it? All right, when you are using gel art ink, you are going to let it dry two to four hours and just air dry. And then you're going to take um, an iron. You wanna place another soft fabric over this or take the other side of your towel and put it over your design. Um, you're going to take your iron at about 250 degrees or the cotton setting and you're just going to rub it over the design for about three to five minutes. And what that's going to do is the, the paint or the gel art is bonding to the fabric and then when you heat it, it sets it. So that's what's going to make it permanent. All right, friends. And you do want to keep it out of a hot dryer. Yes, you want to, um, usually we say wash wrong side out in cold water and then um, lay flat to dry, which is honestly the instructions you're gonna see on any screen printed yes. t-shirt, sweatshirt, yes. any item that's screen printed, that's what you're gonna see as the instructions because it's the best way to protect the yeah, paint. Yeah, you, you, that way it won't fade. Now, and I will just share with you guys, um, if you share this video and tag three friends, we're gonna put your name in for a drawing. So all day Friday, hey Tamara, is that, is that my buddy Tamara? It is, girl. Praying for your sweet daddy and you. Daddy. Every time I see that on Facebook, I, I stop and I pray for your family and your daddy. Because um, I know I'm a daddy's girl too. You're my, you're a, a Kansas City girl. Look at this. Okay, this is the cutest. Look at this. Look at this. With the same farm, farm to table stencil. Look at this. So I've got my red barn that I just made. And look at that. Is that the cutest? You can make some, look at this. So, so cute. That way, if you've got a little boy that you're trying to teach good manners to, you can have him take write thank you notes when mm. after he gets yes. gifts or birthday gifts or grandma sends him some money. Um, that way you can have that and make that for him. Love that. All right, guys, time to peel this baby. So you had, to, Michelle was saying she had to be kind of careful with this because this fabric is thinner and it has and a tendency a to give more. And so because of the knit, I don't want it to pull apart. Home is where the herd is. Love that, love that. that but that's a great t-shirt too. Absolutely. It's a great everything, if you, especially if you, we had cows. My grandparents raised cattle. And so um, sometimes they birthed too early and we'd have to bring them into the barn and we would hand feed them. And like, I grew up hand feeding cows and I love it. I those love big old cows. Brow, those big old brown eyes. I love cows. So that way you see, we've got one that had dried just a little bit yes. earlier. But that way, this is a great napkin for family night oh, yes. dinners to be able to put with your new placemat. And this mm -hmm. is all Ikea. So guys, we're talking about one, this, this, these don't even cost a dollar. Mm -mm. So this makes they're very you, reasonable. They're very reasonable, and it's got this great blue stripe on it. And these were at IKEA for you to be able to customize um, and be able to really use these. So the last thing that we're going to show you today is how to be able to create this great looking custom cutting board. Now, these are really the, people are using these in groupings in their kitchen. Absolutely. They're not really necessarily using them as much, but they're using them as display and it's an art form. Um, this he is actually using them all over the store as it's like art. Decor. It's beautiful. So, but here's the great thing about it. You can have your ink or your chalk art on the front and then just flip it over and cut on this side. Absolutely. So, this is decorative. This can sit up next to your fruit bowl, mm, whatever in your kitchen. But is that not the cutest? It's so great. <coughs> All right, friends, so I just have another one. 
I have my Faith, Family, and Freedom. And where I'm looking at centering this is more from side to side, not so much from top to bottom because I want it a little bit closer to the top, but I want these sides to be even. I'm just gonna rub that down. And as you saw in the larger stencil, the border is really long. So of course, all of it is not gonna fit. So you this can is pick the cutest border, guys. which animals you want to include. So cute. And so I, if it'll fit, no, the cow and the horse are too long. So we're gonna do pig, duck, chicken and goat on this one. So cute. That would be such a great <laughs> Isn't that fun? Great. Mm. Great border. I hate that we didn't do that, but I think the cow's great. I do too. All right. For this one, I just did straight black. Um, nothing special. I wanted it to be really bold design over the wood. I wanted it to really stand out. Guys, as you're popping on here, please say hey. Tell us where you're tuning in from. And be sure and share this video and tag three friends because we are giving away this brand new farm to table stencil. And we're gonna go by everybody that shared Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and until we give this away on Monday afternoon, your name will go in for the drawing. There again, this is gonna be my t-shirt, but I like the fact that we're using this on the wood board, mm -hmm. cutting board. I think it's just really cute. And you can, you could come back, your animals could be red. You could do- It could be any color. You can you do, do chocolates, you can do black, you can mix it. I mean, you can do white, you can come back to- You could do to, a custom color that matches the color absolutely. of your kitchen. We're just basically showing you kind of the process how easy it is because we want you to realize that anybody can be creative absolutely and craft because it's very therapeutic it's good for the soul absolutely all right my friends that's just the cutest love that we could even come back if you wanted to once that dried and lay the stencil back on top of it and do it in white mm -hmm. where you can kind We've of have a it askew right so mm -hmm. it's got a shadow but like that way it's so so cute isn't that adorable so look at all the projects we've done just today with this new stencil michelle showed you how to create the placemat we've got our great looking napkin but all these could be so many other things. You've got your cutting board. You've got your John, John Deere. Deere thank you cards. You've got your Red Barn. There's so many different Love things. It. We're just showing you all the different projects that you can create with this stencil. It has a lot of versatility and definitely something that you can enjoy the bragging rights from. Totally, Tamara. Shadows are the way to go. Mm -hmm. And if anybody knows that. how to do them, you do. <laughs> Dixie, thank you so much. We're so glad you like it. So, guys, be sure to share this video. Tag three friends. Your name will go in for the drawing for this amazing new extra, extra, as Michelle says, gargantuan stencil that allows you to be able to have a lot of versatility and a lot of projects to be able to do it on. And we want you to have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy this gorgeous spring weather. We've got just a few days until Easter, so it's time it's to be coming. crafting. We can do all kinds of things like this. And um, we're gonna be showing you a new kit on Monday and be sure and sign up for our new maker class. It's gonna be our last one of this series and we're gonna be going over it. fear and how it keeps us, it holds us back from really living and growing to be the women that God created us to be. We want you to be a part. It's gonna be a beautiful evening. Thanks everybody and have a great weekend. Thank you, Michelle. Bye friends. Bye guys.